Unbelievable, Jaspie. It was like a needle in the haystack. And, you know, I mean, the, the odds that he would make it were very slim. It's vast and swirling. Nobody swims in this river all year round. We have coyotes, we have bears, we have cougars. We have a lot of things out here, like right across the road is a coyote den. There was fireworks that night. Who knows what happened? I started asking the neighbors everywhere if they had seen this dog. And you know, he's like a 140 pound dog and he kind of looks like a polar bear walking down the road. Everybody was like, is he here, is he here? It was like their dog. They were all going, okay, we can do this. We got this. Somebody had seen the post and he had been seen 12 kilometers up the Columbia River on the other side. I was like, oh God, thank you. And then we searched all over. There was this huge search and rescue and then of course nothing. But at least we knew he was alive again, right? So there's hope. I was bawling my eyes out because it was just so huge. Here's this swollen, churning river and my dog might potentially try to swim this river again. And you know, he's, he's maybe not gonna make it. And he's like, no, he says, why would we stop? It's not like Hollywood. It's not like the dog's gonna just get in the middle of the road and run towards you. I just knew it was a miracle in my heart. There's somebody out there that just really cares about us enough to bring back our dog. <laughs>